If you've ever seen the Food Network show Chopped, then you know that those chefs can whip up an amazing meal out of practically any basket of ingredients. Well, now there's a new cookbook based on that show with recipes that help inspire us everyday cooks to get creative. Catherine Alford from the Food Network is here to show us how to use what we've got in the pantry and fridge to cook something great. Catherine, it's nice to have you with us. So how are we going to get inspired from this oh. book? Well, this takes all that creativity that you see on the show and brings it home into your own kitchen. So we think of everyone's pantry and refrigerator as their own personal chop basket. So, for example, we have this wonderful dish. You open your refrigerator. You've got some ground turkey and some pineapple and, and maybe some leftover rice from takeout food the night before. So we make a delicious recipe for Thai lettuce wraps. It's a one-dish meal. You take it, your head of lettuce, and you just stick it right in there. Wonderful little spices, the brightness from herbs, and a little bit of that pineapple snap in there. And then you've got like sort of a Thai taco that you can share with your family. It's easy, healthy, delicious, and fast. That really looks easy. How do we get beyond using a recipe or having to have, you know, a recipe where we go shop for all the ingredients and just getting creative in our own kitchens? Well, we have great go-to guides for that in the book. We have one for how to make a great salad dressing, how to make pan sauces. So if you're searing off a pork chop and you want to make a yummy, delicious chop and sauce and you have, let's say, a piece of bacon and a lemon, we'll show you how to make a sauce. There are 15 different kinds of variations that you can make from that. So the goal of the book is really to get you to feel free and creative in the kitchen. So there's guides and sources and really easy recipes like this barbecue chicken. And this is all just done with ingredients that are right on the refrigerator door. Preserves, a little bit of ketchup, and then pickle juice. That's the secret ingredient, which adds brightness and freshness to make this great, easy, homemade barbecue sauce. Nice. Part of it, I imagine, starts with having a well-stocked pantry. What kinds of things do we need to be stocking all the time so that we can come up with a creative dinner? Well, you don't have to go crazy. You just need to really start thinking about some basics. And, you know, you might have something sweet. It could be honey or maple syrup, something spicy like a little bit of hot sauce. And it doesn't matter which one, but just think about what the flavor does. So there might be nuts. It could be peanuts or pine nuts or walnuts, whatever you have. Adds a little bit of crunch. Some broth or to add a little bit of brothiness and pastas and sauces and things like that. This is not telling you to go out and buy like 50 different ingredients. Yes, that would be easy, but this is not what that's about. This is taking the basics that everyone has in their pantry and making delicious meals like these great pretzel coated sliders. We use pretzels to make a great crust on the outside and it just adds a really fun twist to a classic dish. That sounds great. You must have the most amazing job overseeing all the culinary projects for the Food Network. What's your favorite part? Uh, eating. Yeah. I eat all day long <laughs> and I eat all this delicious food. It's just really fun and the teamwork that goes from the team there that we have over 200 years of culinary experience that went into this book and it's just passionate and you know Food should be fun, and we have a tremendous amount of fun in Food Network Kitchen. Yeah, you sure do, and we love watching it. Thanks so much for being with us today. It's been great, Meryl. Happy cooking. Uh, thank you very much. I think you're going to love this cookbook. It's called The Chopped Cookbook, and it's available wherever books are sold.